So I'm going to make this video today with my helmet on. It's easier than trying to hold the camera. Right, this little video is going to be about another Lomo bag. I've got, I'm into luggage at the moment, so this is it. This is the Lomo 3 litre bag. This is a handlebar bag. And on the website, this is marketed for bicycles. But when I saw it, I thought, I can get that to work on the bike. So it's the usual roll top. Set the bag open. So you do three rolls. One, two, three. And clip. Same again. One, two, three. Do that again. One, two, three. And clip. So that's it waterproof. Got a little strap at the front. We've got a bungee type cord on it. I suppose to put other stuff in there. We've got two straps here and we've got a centre strap there. So I want to put some stuff in it and I want to see where I can put it on the bike. Well, let's put some stuff in. Let's just fill it out a bit. Let's put my wash gloves in. Because what I want to use this for is I'm thinking of using it to put my tool kit in, my cordless tyre inflator, punch repair kit, things like that. Mount it on the bars. Does it fit on the bars? There, that's bar mounted. So as you pull these straps tight, that doesn't roll around. Let's have a go. Let's sit on the bike. The bag doesn't foul the tank. I can still see the display from the bars. Yep, I can access stuff. Yeah, that looks alright there. Right, let's see if we can get it somewhere else. Right, is there anywhere around the front? I wonder if I could... I could possibly put it there, but I think I might block the headlights. It could go there. as long as the forks don't dive too much. That's not a bad idea there, actually. I do like that there. It's quite handy. Right, let's have a look somewhere else. So what you could do with these as well, you could actually use these as crash bar bags too. I'm not going to remove my crash bar bags, but they would fit either side. Yeah, if I wasn't using my spotlight, I could mount it there on the frame. Let's have a look on my pannier rack. This is where my panniers would go, so let's try it. Right, 
there we go does fit on the side it flops down a bit but it works it's not going to foul anything I could even put one each side on these pannier racks or what I could do I could even mount them on the grab rails Try that. That's better. So actually on the grab rails, so I can actually pull these from underneath. Yeah, you could do one of them each side. It works there. Okay. What else could we do with it? Would it fit on the back seat? Right, it all depends on these straps. Now that's just too wide. Yeah, the straps won't reach across there. we got right, what about here this is where I have my camera yeah that's all right actually that is doesn't cover the brake light that's a good position that is actually I like that That'd be ideal for a toolkit. I can get to it from the side. It's not covering the light at all. See, so I know some of these bikes have the panniers. You see the toolkits on the inside of the panniers. Well, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. straps done actually I like that it's not going to fell the back wheel it doesn't matter about anything splashing up or spraying on it because it's a hundred percent waterproof I think that's a place I want that like that I wonder if I could even well, because we've got this webbing on the back see we've got these loops we can put stuff through so if it go in there will fit underneath I don't think I don't think it would catch the tyre with the suspension I wouldn't want to go any further down with it I quite like it here on the back of this I think it looks good underneath here as well but I do have my rear facing camera there so that does eliminate that I mean, I suppose I could fix it to the top box at the side or on the top. It's not quite big enough to go around these. The strap's not long enough. There might be something under the seat I could strap to and have it there. That's solid, that is. I'll have to go out and try that, but I think... I think that's when I'm going to have that. I mean, I suppose I could fit it here as well. 
on the rear set. But I quite like that there underneath. I would say either there for me or underneath there, underneath the top box plate. But it does work well on the bars as well. I mean, I could, I suppose I could get it there, but I've got no way of getting the, I've got no way of getting the straps out. Yep, I think that's the place for me. It's waterproof. I ain't going to worry about what gets thrown up on it. It's only, it's only going to be a tool kit, punch repair kit. So I don't want to keep my tools in my crash bar bags. I want this for my waterproofs and my gloves. Top boxes, obviously, for my clothes and my camping gear. So I don't want to have to be rummaging through things just to get to the tools. So I think that's where I'm going to have it. Right. Let's have a look. Here we go. Lomo. It was under cycle. Cycling dry bags. That's the one. £19.50. Three litre bike packing handlebar dry bag. There you go, so that's how it would fit on a bicycle. So boys, because it, it would be facing forward. Three litre backing underbar bag, small dry bag, which is ideal for carrying your small essentials. Snacks. Three point handlebar attachment system. Makes it feel secure. Dimensions, 32 centimetres when closed, width 15 centimetres, height 10 centimetres, weight 195 grams. And I suppose if I do change the setup on the bike where I'm going, what I'm doing, I can move the bag to where I want. Because I have got for my bike, I have got hard luggage, but I am looking at the Lomo pannier bags. I prefer this soft luggage to hard luggage. But there we go, that's the Lomo 3 litre bag. I'll put a link up in the description. And I'll see you on the next video we do.